what's up what's up what's up what's up this is that tutorial this is that tutorial subscribe hit the like button hit the bell before we continue I want to show you some cool stuff you can do with the Sun and sky you can even move this thing right here you can kind of see what it does it's even kind of a flare um, that's all as you can see it, it can get really cool so mess around with this you can like there's the flare that's what I'm talking about so just so you guys know that's actually possible and then you want to copy the settings that I have for my gradient effects gadget right here Again, hit the bell subscribe I'm young text YouTube and dreams for uh, copy these settings copy these settings especially this turn this down make it a 100 to make your thing look better and um, let's go ahead and begin we're gonna be showing you guys how to make realistic grass and realistic leaves the tutorials for the realistic trees and rock that's both the same tutorial will pop up up here as well as realistic water will pop up up here and that should complete the tutorial I do believe I have this tutorial for ground if I don't let me know and I'll make it it's real simple to do though uh, that'll pop up here also so today we're doing grass which is the most important thing for realistic scenes as well as leaves Another important thing for this is scenes, my, and I'll do the clouds later. I, I made everything in this scene, but I, I, I made the clouds a long time ago, if that makes sense. Um, let me show you guys something you can do. Copy these settings for the sun inside. I turn this down all the way, turn this down all the way, turn this to like 4.5, we turn it down all the way. You can see just how magnificent my clouds actually are here, and you can see just how amazing the scene actually is. Um, if we just walk around through here, um, I made everything. And if you guys don't feel like making this stuff yourself, you can use this. I have it in the Dreamverse under this name right here. Hit the like button if you use it. Let other people find it. If I was to put water down, I also have water. I put it right here. So just so you can get an idea of what my water looks like before we even start, um, this is sort of my water. Which is something you can use for really cool effects and scenes. I'm just gonna place one down and you'll get the idea. And I made that too. So I'm gonna walk around just so you guys can kind of um, get some good idea of what you're gonna be learning today. And what you can learn if you uh, click those bubbles that pop over the top right. These white gas things are point A to point B for level design. This is where you would start or exit. And then point B, we, you'd have your enemies, you know. I think Skyrim to get up here. And then this is how you would exit this part of the level. And that's, uh, you can make a whole lot with this. Like, as you can see, it doesn't take up too much gameplay. And for what this is, it doesn't take up too much uh, graphics either because you're going to be cloning basically everything, you know. Uh, so, I mean, this is basically it. And you can clone this like three to two more times, uh, this whole scene, before uh, it becomes too much, you know. So that's how big you can make your levels. And you can make it even bigger if you uh, use the trick that I'm going to tell you effectively. So what most people would do with grass, since this is all a sculpture, they'll just make one, one grass. When you're supposed to like make a set of them within one sculpture. If you only make one and then start cloning it, that's how, that's what's going to raise up the gameplay to where you can't like use it. You got to make a set. Same with the leaves. And my tree tutorial will show you how to texture the leaves. These are actually untextured leaves. Um, and it still looks fantastic. You can, of course, look up different types of leaves you can make, you know, um, online for the different types of leaves. And... My tree tutorial will also have the rock tutorial. Of course, these are some really good rocks. So if you can't perfect it, you can always use mine. Um, let's go ahead and start with the grass because I think that's the most interesting, doing the grass. And the leaves are pretty easy. Um, grass is easy too. So this is the first set right here. And then after I'm done, I clone it. And then I make sure it's all together, like however many this is. Uh, make sure it's all together like that then I group it all together and then I clone that place it throughout the scene make sure it's basically covering the tiles of whatever you're going to use for your mud or ground or uh, dirt whatever you're going to use just cover it and that's how I did that there's some lighting on the trees some lighting you can use uh, lights to make things realistic also 
Um, there's not much lighting, but you can use the lighting. I mean, it'll look, mine looks realistic without the lighting, but with it, it can make things pop out whenever the lights aren't there. With the sun and sky gadget, what you want to do is pay attention to this, this, and this. Give you an idea of why. Give you an idea of why. Give you an idea of why. And you can see what this does. Make sure you turn these down and turn this to like 4.5. I think I showed you that already. Uh, this is color of the, you know. And for the rocks, you can actually go through here. Even with the leaves, you can go through here and use this and make stuff darker colors. In my opinion, darker colors look more realistic, so darker grass, even darker rocks maybe. So make things darker than what you might make them. Even, even the, um, except for the sun, you kind of want to make your sun like that. But even the sky might want to be darker. But you can go through here, hit the touchpad, click that, then hit the touchpad again. And you can make rocks separate colors, so that way everything, you know. Or you can make the grass, you know, different hues, you know. So that way everything in the freaking same. Um, I like doing that, so that's just something that really helps out my realism. Let's begin. So for the grass, you'll notice that I have a perfect square cut at the bottom after I made it all, after I lay down all my grass, that's what I do. And then I also have a blend cut at the top that's just a circle, and that's how I made the grass sort of perfect, as you can see. But this is how you'll start it. You'll go here. Whenever you enter sculpt mode, turn this down for everything you make. That's how you make things realistic. So make sure you click that. Make sure you go to mirror for this. You can, you might be able to get away with kaleidoscope. I haven't tried that. You can try to, you can try the stay upright tool also if you want to. Then the uh, shape that we're going to use is this one. Go to edit, pull it up. You don't want it too big. You don't want it too small. You want it just right. And you'll want to have it bending quite a bit. Not too much, but quite a bit. You can press R2 or L2 and then, you know, place a set down. And then what you want to do, you might want to size it down, you know. But uh, then what you want to do is just start placing it. Place one, place one, place one. You want to place like sets of three the way that I'm placing. It seems to be the easiest. I'm like moving around and like kind of turning each side. The reason you turn to each side is because it gives it the illusion every time the player turns, you know, that the grass is pointing towards the player. I believe that would be the reason why uh, it looks so good whenever you do it like this. I think I figured that out um, a minute back. And that's why I started doing it this way. You don't have to have all the grass, you know, in sets like this but it helps a whole lot like more than you know so uh, how do you save gameplay thermo well imagine if I did all this grass in one set that would save a whole lot more gameplay thermo because instead of cloning the whole thing you know and then it increasing the gameplay thermo it would all be uh, one set how you do that is you would lay down the level in tiles and then um, just you know if there's a hill then you would um go over the hill while you're sculpting but i would take a while you know what i'm saying but i'm just saying that's how you could save on thermo if you're really worried about that that's how um you would do it this is also how you can make hair this is also how you can make hair then you blend cut it after you lay these lines down you make some really really realistic hair that way um i might have a new tutorial for hair soon um, if you guys would like to join my Patreon, let me know. I do not have it up yet, but that'll make it to where I'll be able to keep on making stuff and keep on making games and tutorials for you guys. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. So after you have a relevant set of grass down, 
what I like doing is uh, deleting the first one that I make. Just always seems like you know it's not there. You can also uh, move the move the grass with R two if you need to. If there's like grass that's not even, you know, or too high up. not close enough together you can move it with R2 After you're done, cut at the bottom, take it off a of blend cut, uh, mirror mode, and just cut once at the bottom, and even cut to where it gets rid of all that and helps you save thermo. You can also move things around if you want to. Then what I like doing again is I like, and if you want it, if you wanted things to be more curved, then you can curve it. Uh, you know, with the curve tool, that's what mine looks like. What I like doing is choosing a different color, maybe a lighter color, then either choosing spear tool. I don't know which one I chose. Could have been spear. Could have been this tool right here. But then I like going here. Raising this up just maybe a tiny bit, going to the top. And that's how I made my grass. Try not to miss any, you know what I'm saying? And then whenever I'm done with it, clone it, however many times you gotta clone it, and then link it together and then make your stacks. And that is how you make um, grass and greens PS4. That's how I make grass. So how do you make the leaves? So again, this is untextured leaves, but it still looks fantastic as you can see. You can use this by typing this in if you guys want to. If you guys don't want to make any of this and you just want to use the kit, there it is. This is all up. You can use it for your thing right now if you don't want to actually make it yourself. But as you can see, it looks fantastic. So let's get into how you can make the leaves. So in order to make leaves, it's the same concept of getting as much done with one sculpture as the grass is. So as you can see, nothing goes up whenever you clone it for the most part. Just in case you were worried about that. Next, what you want to do is copy what I'm about to do here. You won't have any leaves down, so don't copy me, you know, deleting anything. What you want to do is for every branch, add a spear, a set of three for each side. So you can kind of see how I made into the clouds, you know. It's an optical illusion. But, so this side would have three spears, and this side would three, have three spears. Let's go ahead and begin. Again, choose your color. And I believe I for the grass, I used this finish. I think I used the shiny finish. I may have used this finish for the grass, so um, just be aware of that. It really doesn't matter, though. One, two... Three, one, two, three, and you'll do that for every branch on your tree. After you've done that, scoot it together, and this is how you'll make your leaves. And again, before you even start, always lower this, like I say. You want to cut once at the bottom, 
then once on the side. And you want to cut at the bottom in different places for each leaf so that way every leaf pokes out in a different direction for the most part. You don't have to necessarily even start at the bottom. I mean, you can, but I mean, I like starting at the bottom. You can even size down the spear as long as it's not like cutting into another leaf. That's the tricky part, doing this without cutting into another leaf. So that's when you probably want to cut in a different, uh, different side. Then you want to do this for every branch. You don't got to get it too perfect, but it has to, you know, it has to make sense. Because your leaves can't be too big. You kind of want the line to, like, cut down the middle, too. Doesn't have to. That's a that's actually a good set. Then you want to like. You can also you know move the move the thing you know. Doesn't have to be perfect like I said. Then you want to like you know, do your next branch your next branch. And then whenever you're done. Doing all this in the same sculpture. Whenever you're doing each branch, you'll do that all on the same sculpture whenever you're done you want to spin it around the tree like you want to use the clone tool and sort of uh do this around the whole tree And that's how much one branch is. So maybe I uh, think maybe, like I say, like I say, make sure you do every branch. But you might not even have to do that. It seems like what I did. No, I probably did every branch. Just I'm, I'm, I'm not like using the right set. I think it's this set. Yeah, it's this set. So that's how many branches I did. I started off at the top. So I really only did leaves at the top. It seems. So I did one, two, one, you know, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four. So four branches with three leaves, with, with um, six leaves, three, um, two sides, you know, you know. Then I clone it and spin it. Then I bring it down, you know, sort of like that. And that's how I made my tree. My tree's leaves. For the tree tutorial, it'll pop up up here if you need that. Like I probably said that already. So this is how you do it. For the rock tutorial, that'll pop up up here. For the landscape tutorial, I should have that up. That should be a part of the tree tutorial if it's not then it'll be at the end of this video popping up real soon. Um, and if I haven't made it, then it'll pop up real soon after I make it and put it on my channel. And for the water tutorial, that'll pop up in this video also. Again, the rock tutorial is a part of the tree tutorial. The tree tutorial is how you make rocks, at least how I make them. You can always just use my rock because these are actually some really good rocks. On that lighting, you can use that to add shading to a tree. You want to make your trees relatively long. Here's my lights. Light settings. You want to make your trees long out of vision. It's a cool trick to actually do that. Have your trees out of vision long. And the other trick you want to do, go to your puppet, go to its microchip, 
I want an X on it. Go into this, I want an X on this, press I want and square on this, then turn this down all the way. What this does is actually makes a blur, like a lens flare. You can kind of see it. Well, you will see it if I turn it up that much. So usually it'll turn, it start out like at 14 or something. Some people might like it, but you know, just so you know, if you turn that down, it'll help with the resolution. I like having high resolution. I feel like it's more the better. You can also add lighting to the grass. I didn't add it to mine, but I'm just letting you know. You might want to, and you can um, add, try fog effects also if you want to. My clouds were not made with fog. Here is the... So as you see, mo a lot of everything's red because of how I set it down in sculpt mode, which is why I tell you guys to set it down like this, but the clouds are not red. Clouds are in blue. Cloud settings. These are the cloud settings. It's probably the most important right here. Pause the video. Then I use dots. Guess I use that. Use the color white or gray. And I just probably laid it down. It's it probably that simple to make clouds. I may have spray painted it, in all honesty. But I don't know what's going on. I don't think it's uh, putting down because it might be too big. Oh, there it is. So as you can see, it might be hard to get it to look like this, but eventually it might look like that. You can just use my clouds. You can find these in the Dreamverse. Under the name, Realistic Cloud. Follow me in Dreams on Yuntash YouTube and Dreams. Join the Dreams PS4 Amino if you're interested. And so here's another tutorial that I'm working on, a realistic face tutorial. Give you an idea. I mean, I made more uh, types of faces, but I feel like this is going to turn into something really cool. Feels like it has the skin anatomy because you got to understand whenever you're doing faces, I feel like you should also uh, do the skin anatomy while you're doing it. Which, I mean, I didn't mean to do that, but now I think about it, it just makes sense. You can also use my realistic grass tutorial, my realistic water tutorial, dog tutorial, if you guys are interested in that. Uh, I mean, you know, um, you can use this, whatever this is. This is where the rock and stuff is. And the water. Use this for ground. It's real simple to make this, but that's the name of this. If you guys need like realistic ground, um, that should be it. That should be it. You can use this also. It's one of my trees that I have in that scene, so I made that. And this is the game that I'm working on. Um, so if I make a Patreon, you guys will be helping me. Um make games and stuff as well as more tutorials for you guys so you can check this out also if you want to again my patreon is not up yet so um wanna just tell me if you guys are interested in that you know you can check out my other tutorials and make sure you know but make sure you let me know if you're actually interested um other than that follow me in dreams if you can touch youtube and dreams you can text on youtube and um Subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like button, and peace. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial.